Happy New Year! Year! Oh my god, I can't believe it's already 2018. Time goes so fast. But before we start planning our goals for 2018, we wanted to go over all the incredible experiences we had in 2017. We welcome the new year here with my family in Mexico City, but we also had a chance to explore the city as well as to visit the beautiful colonial town of Guanajuato, the beautiful beaches of Acapulco, and the amazing waterfalls of La Huasteca Potosina. But before coming to Mexico, we visited Cuba, a country that we wanted to visit for a long time. However, prior to November, we spent almost all of 2017 exploring our home country of Canada. As many of you know, we came up with the idea of Road to 150, driving across Canada for 150 days from coast to coast to coast, experiencing the best of Canada. This was such an incredible experience in so many ways. First, it was a dream come true. A trip like this is far from cheap and it took a lot of time and effort to put together. We had to find a major sponsor, which turned out to be Best Western Hotels, an amazing company that helped make this adventure happen. We also worked with a variety of tourism companies, tourism boards, and Parks Canada. We also created the Must Do Canada YouTube channel, which has grown so much in just seven months, so thank you all so much for being a part of that. We also hired a professional filmmaker to make the videos as spectacular as possible. Then, of course, there's the trip itself. Wow. We started off in Newfoundland, province that's very special to me as it's where half my family's from. Here we bought the vehicle that took us across the country, starting at Cape Spear, Canada's most easterly point. We had so many incredible experiences over the next 150 days. In Newfoundland we saw icebergs, scenic harbors, walked on the Earth's mantle, and stood on flow icing. Then we went to Nova Scotia, where we visited scenic coastal towns, hiked to mind-blowing vistas, and rafted the highest tides in the world. We then went to PEI to explore some of Canada's most beautiful beaches and try some incredible food. This was before going to New Brunswick to walk on the seabed, go zip lining, and learn about life back in the 1800s. Next, we drove to Quebec, to see beautiful Quebec City or Montreal and to spend a night in a treehouse. And in Ontario, we witnessed Niagara Falls from different angles, learned about the history of Toronto and experienced Canada Day in the nation's capital. What a great party! We even shook the Prime Minister's hand! We then reached the center of Canada in Manitoba, learned about some of Canada's history in the fur trade and then snorkeled with beluga whales in the Hudson Bay easily one of the best things we've ever done in our whole lives. In Saskatchewan we learned about some First Nation culture, slept in a teepee, and floated in Canada's version of the Dead Sea. We then drove all the way to the Northwest Territories to fish on a secluded lake, spend the night on a floating barge, and explore the world's first UNESCO World Heritage Site. Then we crossed over into the Yukon to stand on the world's largest non-polar glacier, go panning for gold in the wild west town of Dawson City, and then drive the incredible Dempster Highway past the Arctic Circle and back into the Northwest Territories, where we were one of the first to drive the new highway all the way to Tukti and the Arctic Ocean. Then we got back in the vehicle and drove 60 to 70 hours all the way to British Columbia, where we got up close and personal with killer whales and grizzly bears, went surfing in the Pacific Ocean, and hugged some of the biggest trees on Earth. Lastly, we finished up in Alberta, our home province, where we got to stand on top of the Canadian Rockies, hike the Canadian Badlands, and ride an old-fashioned steam train. It was truly an incredible experience to not only explore our own country so deeply, but to be able to share it with the world as well. It's now winter in Canada, and we're going to be featuring some of the best things to do when there's snow on the ground. After all, our winters might be cold, but it's also a beautiful time to visit Canada. Which is why we want to end this video by doing a giveaway. To help you plan your next adventure to Canada, we're giving away a $100 Best Western gift card, as well as a trip planning service from Must to Canada. So all you have to do is follow the link in the description below. There's many ways to enter and get multiple entries. And if you like Must to Canada, 
you like this video, please give the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and best of luck with the contest. And our best wishes for 2018.